Hello 2023 K-Influencers! K-Culture Zip! Unzip the story of Korean culture, the education VOD with Kong Nuni is back! Last time we looked into Korean New Year's Day. It was about the New Year's Eve bell, which wraps up the year and celebrates the new year, watching the sunrise, Sebe, a traditional Korean New Year's Day greeting, and Tteokguk, Korean New Year's food. In this video, I would like to introduce you to Korea's convenience facilities. I will give you information that you may not know if you have not visited Korea yet. It will be useful for your trip to Korea in the future. Then shall we find out about Korea's convenience facilities? Let's start! Convenient and fast, state-of-the-art transportation Many people use public transportation when traveling abroad. Foreigners who visit Korea are often surprised by the transportation culture. Let's find out why. We cannot talk about convenience without mentioning the state-of-the-art subway. Especially in Seoul, when you take the subway, you can make all transfers with one transportation card regardless of the line, and you can settle the fare at once. It also provides Wi-Fi, so tourists who need to find information or maps about tourist attractions find this very useful. In addition, we have a subway information monitor that informs train arrival information in real time, providing helpful information to subway passengers. The inside of the train is equipped with a heating and cooling system, providing a warm space in the winter and a cool one during summer. It also operates cars with weak air conditioning for people sensitive to the cold. In addition, nearly 88% of all stations have an elevator directly connected to the platform which helps the elderly and people with disabilities. Also, there are seats specifically for the elderly and pregnant women on the subway. There are also clean toilets in every station, so feel free to use them. You can easily transfer from the subway to another public transportation with just one transportation card. Then, shall we move on to the bus, another Korean public transportation service we will look into next? The bus stops provide information on the arrival of the bus and the location of the buses through the information system. Isn't it exhausting to wait for the bus endlessly in the middle of summer or winter? The bus stops in Korea have air curtains to prevent heat wave damage in the summer or a composite panel to prevent direct sunlight from entering. They are equipped with a thermal bench in the winter so you can wait for the bus on a warm seat when the weather is cold. Furthermore, people are creating more cutting-edge, futuristic bus stop smart shelters to enhance the convenience of bus stop users. They have not only a cooling and heating system, but also a fine dust purification function and a space for wheelchairs and strollers. Why don't you use the fast and convenient public transportation when you visit Korea? Make your travel safer with smart crosswalks. Do you also walk on the street while looking at your smartphone? These days, you can easily find pedestrians looking at their phones while walking on the streets. They say if you walk while looking at your screen, the average view you can secure is only 5% compared to when you walk without doing so. Sounds very dangerous, doesn't it? In Korea, we are increasingly creating smart crosswalks that incorporate information and communication technology to prevent crosswalk accidents. We installed LED floor traffic lights that act as auxiliary traffic lights by emitting green and red lights according to the signal. It can be identified even in the middle of the day with an automatic control function that adjusts the brightness of the light. You can check the signal even if your eyes are on your phone. People can use the crosswalk in front of the school more safely thanks to the creation of smart pedestrian crosswalks equipped with not only floor-type traffic lights, but also intensive lighting and voice guidance. In addition, we are introducing a system that automatically extends pedestrian signals for people's safety. We can detect and warn of danger in real time by using artificial intelligence. When pedestrians cross the crosswalk, they can extend the signal as much as they need according to their pace. 
Also, there are devices installed in the blind spot of intersections to prevent bypass accidents. It informs pedestrians that there is an approaching vehicle about to turn right and informs the driver who is trying to turn right that there is a pedestrian through a warning sound and electronic display. They say the expansion of safety systems using artificial intelligence is giving practical help in preventing crosswalk accidents. Beyond the convenience during road trips, highway rest stops. Don't you want to take a break when you drive a long distance? In Korea, there are rest stop facilities near highways or major roads for the convenience of people on the road. It is not only a space where drivers can rest or eat, but also help with all emergencies that may occur while driving, such as refueling and charging vehicles, vehicle repair, drowsy driving, and bathroom breaks. Before, rest stops in Korea used to be places where you go to fill your hunger, to sleep, or to go to the restroom when you are driving long distances. But over time, it has evolved into a shelter where you can get medical treatment, use a playground for dogs, and enjoy auto camping, mini golf, and even shopping. Many people visit it not as a passing place, but as a destination because it's a complex, themed rest stop with various amenities. There are also rest areas that have incorporated robot services where robots make coffee and cook food. The serving robot also serves side dishes that customers need along a pre-populated route. Recently, due to the pandemic, they have also introduced non-face-to-face -face food ordering services. At various rest areas, you can order food using a kiosk as well as a smartphone app or QR code on the tables. Rest stops in Korea are not only convenience facilities, but also developing into spaces with unique themes, making them a landmark of a region. For example, Shihung Sky Rest Area, a new concept rest area built in the sky, is emerging as a hotspot on social media. These rest stops not only provide various amenities, but also carry out eco-friendly projects. So why don't you visit them when you come to Korea? Convenience stores that have become an all-around store. In Korea, you can find convenience stores that are open 24 hours a day without any break time. These days, convenience stores in Korea offer various services, so they are called all-around stores where anything is possible. As cup noodles and convenience foods that appear in various cake content stimulate the curiosity of foreign tourists, convenience stores are becoming an essential place to stop at when visiting Korea. That's right, we also looked into convenience store foods in the fifth episode of Cake Culture Zip. Accordingly, convenience stores started providing convenient services to foreign tourists, such as VAT refund services and foreign currency exchange kiosks. Convenience stores in Korea not only serve as supermarkets, but also as pharmacies and delivery companies. They also sell emergency medicines such as antipyretic painkillers, digestive medicine, and cold medicine for those who urgently need them in the middle of the night. They offer a half-price delivery service that allows you to send and receive packages at a relatively low price as well. In addition, some stores are also implementing an unmanned laundromat. I can't believe I can leave my laundry and get it back at any time. Convenience stores in Korea are truly helpful in every way. Wow, it's already time to wrap up the seventh episode of the Cultural Education VOD. Today, we looked into Korea's convenience facilities. We talked about cutting-edge public transportation services, smart crosswalks that make the city safer with advanced technology, rest areas that are becoming landmarks, and convenience stores that provide various services. K-influencers, what was the most interesting thing about convenience facilities in Korea to you? Are there any similarities or differences with the convenience facilities in your country? Like last time, I prepared a surprise gift for K-influencers who watch the video until the end. It's a leaflet that will come in handy for your trip to Korea. 
I uploaded the image file to the Google Classroom, so please use it when you visit Korea. I'm excited to see the one-of-a-kind videos of our K-influencers. I'll be looking forward to it. Next week, we will talk about exhibition halls in Korea. Then, see you next Thursday! Goodbye, K-influencers!